watching the Lancaster Outlook. I'm Wendy Williams. Have you ever wanted to run for Lancaster City Council? Would you even know where to start? Well, here with all the ins and outs is City Clerk Jerry Bryan. And just to get started, tell us, what does the City Clerk Department do? Well, we're really a service department, and we are kind of a liaison between each department. Other than handling just elections, we handle all of the agendas for uh, city council meetings, putting the agendas together, making sure we have all the staff reports. We're also a liaison between the general public and the council as well. The general public relies on us for public information requests, getting the legislative history of the city. So we get a lot of people at our counter just wanting to know uh, You're the major interface there. Yeah, we really, really are. are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now the city doesn't go outside and have the county handle its elections. That happens right there at City Hall. Yes, it and does. And that's got to be a huge responsibility on your shoulders. So it is. What is this process? It's it's a lot of fun, number one. And yes, it is on our shoulders. We handle what we call a, stand, a standalone election. And the process, we help the candidates individually. We give them one-on-one -on -one attention. And we help them from the time they file papers to run for office to filing all the necessary documents to run for office. Um, it's not easy bringing, either because running for office, there's a lot of I's to dot and a lot of T's to there cross. There are. There's a ton of paperwork to do. And they can always call us and they have questions. So we're right there to help them all the way through. But you get that, right? You get that because these are a lot of people are, are just working people wanting mm -hmm. to represent their city. Yes. They may not know how to do it. So how do you walk them through it? We, we actually make appointments with those people that are interested. And when they're interested, then we sit down. It takes a good hour to go through all of the information a candidate needs to know and all of the forms they have to fill out. So we just walk them through each document and they ask questions along the way and they know the deadlines of when they have to get documents back to us and we take it from there. And then once they've qualified and given us a candidate statement, we can put it on the ballot for them. Now, are the city elections partisan or nonpartisan? They're nonpartisan, yes. You'll never see anybody mention what party they belong to on a local election. Why is that? It's just the way it is set up in the government code, the election code. So uh, standalone elections and elections like that when it's just a city run election and it's only for city issues like electing a mayor and a council, it is just strictly nonpartisan. We don't have districts and they do not run on a party ticket. Okay, now as far as wanting to get in on the election process but you don't want to run for office, is there a spot for our residents? There are when it comes to working at the polls. We're always looking for people to work at the polls on election day and people can call City Hall anytime and they can just say put my name down for a future election and then we will have their name. We're always looking. A lot of people will bow out at the last minute so we always need a standby list of people and that will work on work at the polls. Well, you probably need a pretty good force. We do. We definitely need a backup force and we usually will get about 150 volunteers to work at those and it's a long day we don't deny it it's a long day for little pay but these people they do it out of civic pride and mm -hmm. pride for their city and they love to help registering voters is that something that the city partakes in we do have the the registration forms mm -hmm. and so do places like the library the fire stations the um, the police stations every a lot of places have the forms but really it's handled more by the county. Mm -hmm. So you fill out the form, you mail it to the county of Los Angeles. You can also go on the county's website and download the form. You still have to print it out, mm -hmm. you have to fill it out, and then you have to mail it in to the county. What about absentee voter registration? Can they do that through the city? Yeah, now there's two things. There's absentee voter and there's permanent absentee voters. Okay, so absentee voters, if you just want to vote absentee one time in an election that's coming up, you can fill out the, the back page of your sample ballot mm -hmm. and you can mail that to the county and they will make sure you get your ballot. A permanent absentee is somebody who has decided they just want to vote from home always. Mm -hmm. And so they fill out a separate form for that, mail it to the county. And as long as they don't miss two consecutive state elections or change any information on their voter registration form, they will automatically get their ballot and a, a sample ballot and all the literature that goes with it. Very good. Now, I have had, um, I have seen you in action at these, at these city council meetings. You are kept busy. <laughs> So not only are you in charge of the elections, but you have a very strong role at a city council meeting. Uh -huh. Describe that. Well, I just, I like to say that I just kind of keep it running smoothly. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the time the mayor calls it to order to 
when each item comes up for discussion to timing the people who come up to speak at the podium to the mayor and the council and right up to adjournment. So, But you track it too because the next day you can catch the minutes on the web yes. and you can read exactly what was said and that's all you. That's so while you've got all these other balls in the air, you're, you're typing away. I am typing. I'm doing two different things. I'm typing on just a Word document, my notes that the things that are being said, but I'm also going to another page on my laptop where it's with uh, the Granica system to make sure that I am time stamping the different items that come up so that it makes it easy for you, the citizen, to look at the next day. If you only wanted to see the discussion on New Business 4, you can hit the drop down box and go to New Business 4 without watching the whole meeting. 2007 really brought Lancaster into the, the 21st century uh, technology wise. Yes, uh, it did. Television and, and the web, everything. It, we are very accessible. Do, do you feel that the, uh, the public has a, a real strong ability to see inside of Lancaster? I think they do. I really do. And I think because of the technology, they are able to stay at home and watch it during the web streaming, watch it live. The television station plays, replays it over and over again before the next meeting. There's so many ways to have access to it. What advice would you give to somebody coming to a uh, council meeting excuse me, and they want to speak before the council? What advice would you give them? The advice I would give is, number one, I would explain to them they have three minutes in which to state their concerns. And even though three minutes doesn't sound like a lot of time, you can really get your points across in three minutes. So my advice would be, be prepared. Know what you're going to say and don't go off track of that. And then you fill out a speaker card when you get there. When it's that time of the meeting, the mayor will call your name, you come up to the podium, and then I push buttons mm -hmm. to time the citizens, and you have three minutes. In. So really, it's be prepared. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. And when are the council meetings? They are the second and fourth Tuesday of every month at uh, 5 o'clock mm -hmm. in city council chambers. Now, addressing the council is one way, but there, I'm sure, are other ways to get your issues addressed through the city council. What would you recommend? Well, they... They're welcome to email the city council. Their email addresses are on our website. They can write letters to the council. That's the good old fashioned way. People will write, uh, many times someone will bring us one letter and say, would you please make sure the council gets this? And so we make sure the council will get it and we'll put it in their boxes. And it so, is how it works. Oh, sure. It doesn't just get ignored. It doesn't lay on some desk somewhere. No, it does not. It's heard, it's seen, and, it, and it's how our community works. Absolutely, absolutely. And when we're handed letters, we're we, we're clerks, so we date stamp everything. And so when we get it, we date stamp it, we copy it and get it to the right people right away. You're yes. doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. You've been listening to Jerry Bryant, the city clerk of Lancaster. This is the Lancaster Outlook.